everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage. I'm Leslie Watkins. And uh, today we're going to be painting some forsythia. This is not blooming in my yard. I forced these branches just to bring a little spring inside the house. Um, here, where I live in Connecticut, we have snow and freezing temperatures, fireplaces roaring, and it feels like the middle of winter. But we're going to we're going to see if we can coerce spring into uh, coming into our living rooms today. So I'm going to turn you down and we'll get started. Here's the forsythia. And as you can see, it has four petals. And each one of these little whorls around the stem has a number of buds. So this one has three. This one has, it looks like six. This one has six also. All right, so pretty simple. And then on the inside, I'm going to take this guy apart. This is this one has only just opened. Oops, sorry. There you go. This one has only just opened, so it's really uh, underdeveloped. But that's where the the pollen will be once it once it grows. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. There you go. Can you see it now? All right. So here is the hot watercolor paper. And I'm just grabbing a number two pencil. Just want to check something over here. Okay, and it has a it has a ter terminal bud. Now this one looks a little bit dried up. They may that one may have been um, had died back from the winter. So first things first, we're going to get the axis of the stem. And I'm going to decide which area I want the focus to be on. Let me get you zoomed in here. Are you zoomed? There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Um, if you if you have any comments, I am not set up to be able to see them. So any comments or questions, please leave below, and I will answer you after the, after the program. Here we go. Now this is, this is going to be my center of interest here, and then these others will be the supporting actors. Why? Because this one is looking right at me and it's looking very lively and there's also a, a cluster of uh, other petals behind it. So there's a there's a lot of a lot of concentration of yellow here whereas these are a little more sparse. And these pencil lines are not me trying to draw the blossom so much as to just determine where their placement on their page will be. This is a kind of a guideline. And uh, you may 
choose to erase these lines after you get your, your paint on there or leave them for a sketchier quality. This is, for me, this is just going to be a quick sketch, so I'm not going to worry too much about the pencil lines. And I'm working with just three colors, red, yellow, and blue. So I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm just getting a little puddle going here on the palette. Now for those of you who are interested in a watercolor tutorial, I'm going to be filming those starting next week. And on the website, dandelioncottagedesign.com, there is now a sign-up form and you can get on the list for notes from Dandelion Cottage. And that will be a very short and to the point email that will arrive in your email box on the first of each month. And it's going to give you a full schedule of what's happening that month, both, both the uh, online classes, the Facebook Live, special events, anything that's going on so that you will be able to plan accordingly. In addition, there will also be special offers and tips and tricks and some photographs of the things that I'm working on. But basically, it's going to be really short. And um, if you sign up for that, I will be sending out your first class free. So there will be a bonus video um, which you will be able to access once you sign up. So check out uh, notes. There's a, there's a call to action on the pa front page of the website that says uh, subscribe to notes at dandeliancodgedesign.com. All right, so now I'm just going to take a very light wash. Now this this yellow has a tiny bit of red in it to warm it up a little more. And I'm just putting a base coat in the areas where the petals will be. This is going to be a short video today, so I'm going to keep an eye on the time. All right. In addition, that special for the um, essential toolkit for the Dandelion Cottage design team is still on. That special ends March 31st. I think in the previous video I said March 29th. I don't know why. I meant March 31st. So you have just seven more days to jump on that, and I really urge you to do so. There's more on that on the website as well under the join page. If you have any questions at all, please email me. I would hate for you to miss out on that. Um, it's a it's a great deal. You would get a hundred dollars worth of really good quality tools um, plus an about another hundred dollars worth of free products. So this only happens once every so often generally once a year, and I don't know if uh, it'll be as good next year as it is this year. It's an excellent deal, so check that out, please. So I'm just getting the stem on there. Now I'm going to go back into my yellow mixture, this time adding a tiny more, tiny bit more red to make it a little bit darker. And I'm just adding this tone a little bit here and there. Not too much because the forsythia is actually a a cool cooler yellow, so I don't want to go overboard with the warm tones. There you go.
And now I want to mix up a kind of a, um, a shadow tone to get into these places here and in here inside the, the cup of the flower. So I'm taking a little bit of blue and a little bit of red and a little bit of mud from my palette. And this is a very dilute mixture. And I'm just going to let that flow right down into the center of each of the blossoms. This is the shadow tone. So pay attention when you're when you're working from your specimens. The first thing you want to ask yourself is where is the light coming from? Where's my brightest light? Where are the cast shadows? And um, and your light source is going to dictate how the picture develops. All right, so let's put. I'm noticing as I look at this stem that it's got a lot of um, kind of a, a reddish tinge to it, sort of an orangish, warm brown color. So I'm mixing some of that up right now. Begin to introduce some of those tones. There we go. Now, you see, I'm working all over the picture at the same time. I'm not, I'm not getting caught up in working in any one particular area. And that's important because what you do in one area of the picture is going to affect the rest. So you want to, you want to keep that, you want to keep your hand moving across the page as your picture develops. Just dropped my sponge on the ground. There we go. All right, now there's also some little, I'm seeing some tiny little spots of green starting to peep out at the base of the flowers. So let's capture some of that quality. Here and there. And now I'm going to begin to add some of the richer tones and put some accents here and there, sparingly. And I can go back into those blossoms and do a little more drawing of the shapes. So I'm just kind of um, indicating Some of the the characteristics here and there. And using the tip of my brush, I can develop more of the drawing of each of the individual petals, like so. There's 
I'm going to blend that a little bit. All I'm doing is adding a little bit of water. I'm not adding paint there. And finally, I'm going to take some pure yellow and I'm just going to glaze a little bit of that over this area. Just make that a little stronger. Smooth that out. And that's about it for today, folks. So please check out the new feature on the website and signed up, excuse me, sign up for notes from Dandelion Cottage. And stay tuned for the beginning of the watercolor mini course coming right up. I missed a spot. Hold on. Don't go yet. Let me just get this petal in here. There we go. Okay. There you have it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're staying isolated and well. I'm going to work really hard at producing a bunch of videos for you to uh, keep yourself busy while you're in the house. And, uh, and I will also be posting a list of materials and supplies that you can order now to get ready so that you can follow along with the videos coming right up. So thank you again. Stay well. And I'll see you Saturday for Paper Crafting Saturday. All for now. Bye.